What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. A day after Apple dropped iOS 16 developer beta 5, we are getting public beta 3 for iOS 16. And I think this is going to be one of the betas that really make people jump on the bandwagon if they did not install the prior two betas. And it's all because of one thing, and that is the return of the battery indicator. I, For the life of me, I don't understand why this is such a big deal, why it's all over Twitter and all these other websites. But yes, it's true. Apple brought back the battery indicator percentage in the battery icon with developer preview, or, or I should say developer beta 5, and public beta 3. So yes, you'll be privy to this as well. It does work in battery saver, while it's plugged in, and in traditional mode. No surprise there. Uh, I personally don't like the implementation. I think the font's a little too big. It takes away from the indicator, as it does not show you live time anymore, the true battery percentage via that sliding scale. It purely just reads to you now the battery percentage. In addition to this change, with developer preview five, and public beta three, you're gonna get a couple of tweaks to the music widgets as I did a video on yesterday. You're gonna get a couple of other new options in your general settings as well. You will also get new sound profiles for your Find My items. So if you'd find your iPhone, if you trigger it from your Apple Watch or anything of that nature, that will now be a little different sounding. It does make it sound a little more unique and call to action sort of, but just a personal opinion there as well. Beyond that, you are getting a little bit of stability improvements in the 24-ish hours that we've been using Developer Preview 5. It has been a lot smoother, we'll say, than the bugginess on B Developer Beta 4. So keep that in mind. This should improve what you are experiencing on the public Beta 2 as well. Uh, aside from that, the battery has seemed to improve a little bit. The screen has stayed cooler. I haven't had any auto brightness issues like I did experience partially on Beta 4 and Developer or excuse me, in public beta two. So I have two devices. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and an iPhone 12 Pro. One has the developer beta on it and one has the public beta on it. And these have been pretty uniform as far as what the expectations are between these two devices. So uh, if you're getting the developer preview, you should have no issues with this as even app crashes has decreased immensely since dev preview five has dropped. So again, just my two cents. Wanted to let you know it's out. Go pick it up. Let me know if you have questions. Did you install it? Did you get this? Uh, I'm very curious to know. Also, comment down below and let me know. Do you guys think this battery indicator should be blown up as it is? Obviously, yes, it's been a couple of years since Apple has added this or has taken it away to re-add it now. This isn't a feature, really. I, I, it just blows my mind all of this attention it's getting. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Get that download. Peace.